Yo, yo, Drakey. Okay, I'm going to just wait for like a few more people to join. So we have taken a trade already and I, I'm going to have a video on it later. But let's just wait for a few more people to join and then let's, let, let, let's, let's do this trade breakdown. Because this was an absolutely crazy one or two trade. You good? I see wife tears now. <laughs> <laughs> just now I went through every single type of emotion in this trade. I've never traded the one minute in my life and and this was the first time we traded the one the one minute and we hit that one or two. We actually got that one or two. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna post a video on it later, so make sure you guys watch it. Oh, um stay what am I saying? Make sure you guys check it out. I should have it up in like the next four hours, maybe. I don't know. We gotta we gotta see how long it takes to edit the one minute. But just know we held through so much. Let's zoom in a bit. We had a one hour demand, basic right there. And then um, everyone knows Doyle's new strategy. And, um, oh, one minute. Yeah, so we, we, we had the five minute demand like this. I went over to the one minute, just like Doyle's new strategy. And we got the one or two. Yeah, it's risky as hell. I see you off fatal. I see you. it's risky as hell. And then we, we drew up the, the, um, the one minute demand like this, just like that. And then it was inside a five minute demand as well. Um, let's see, let's see if we can make this look cleaner. Okay. So that's the, that's the five minute demand right there. Let's see. Wait, can I fix this please? Please. Okay, this, this is not working. Okay, that that's the that's the five minute demand, and then the one a minute demand is literally right there. That that's like the only high probability one minute um demand, right there. Okay, uh, this is this is not working with me. I don't. Okay, there. So um this red candle here has low probability, so you, you have to draw the one minute demand over two candles. I got in um at breaker candle here. Let's actually let's actually hop over to to. Um, let's see if we can do this. Can you wait? Let's, let's, let's fix this real quick. Properties, uh, Safari. Why isn't it working? I don't know. Um, let's see. Where was your stop loss? Uh, Drakey, I'm, I'm trying to hop over to trading view just to show you. And I'll show you. I didn't have it directly below the candle. Um, because when I was back testing, you need to give it a little bit of space. But this is not working now. Just, just give me a second. Uh, let's remove that and then let's go add and then go that. Okay. And then let's go that and then go window. No, let's go application. Then Safari. Okay. It's, no, it's still not working. Why ain't this working? I don't know why I can't pull it up now. Actually, wait, I got an idea. I got an idea. Give me, give me a second. Let, let, let's do this rather. Let's do this. Okay. And then we go open properties, uh, Safari. There we go. Okay. We pulled up. Let's just hide that. Okay. We pulled up on trading view. So this was, th this is exactly what I took. Um, are you school today? I, I went to school, got back. I took this trade in school, which is even the even more crazy part about this. Okay, so so let's, let's just delete this. Let's take off the EMAs so this can look clean. And then just take away that. Okay, wait, not wrong thing. Let's take away that. Okay. So this was, this was like exactly how I took the trade. So... The, the white ones, uh, white sticks right there are the, the one minute demand. So we came in and then we got two nice reactions or rejections from it. I was supposed to get in that breaker candle right there, but I didn't miss it because I wasn't at school. I literally tried to pull out my MacBook while this trade broke candle because I didn't think we were going to actually win off this trade. Then I got in somewhere. I believe it was here. You'll see in the live, tr uh, live trading video that I'm going to post later. I had it there. And I had stops around here. So normally you'd have a stop loss underneath the wick there. But when I was back testing the strategy, you got to put um, your stop loss a little bit lower and, and, and put it like, I would say at least, um, let's see, how big was the stop loss from there? It was 8.1 perps. 
I'd say at least one pip or maybe a little bit less than one pip. You should put your stop loss like a little bit below the wick, at least a pip. And then I was looking for the one to two, nothing less. And we actually got the one to two and now it is completely melting. So yeah, I got in, then we got this first push here. I actually thought we were gonna hit take profit here. We pushed up really high. Then it came back all the way down. And I was like, oh damn, okay, this, this, is, this is kind of stressful now. And then we pushed all the way back up even higher. I was like, okay, we surely gonna hit take profit now. And then we pushed all the way back down to, to and then actually before that, we were consolidating here. And then we pushed all the way back down into this one minute demand. And I was like, okay, I was literally so close to, in, in closing. I was gonna close like at the break of this candle. There, I was literally about to close that. That's, let's, let's see, can I make this smaller? Yeah. This, this candle right here, this red one right there, that scared me. That's a, that's a failed arrow, but th that red candle right there, that scared me. I was actually like, I was this close to trade, uh, to closing. Um, so I almost got out there, but then I was like, okay, we, we actually re we were rejected up in the next candle. I was like, okay, we actually could potentially keep moving up. And then I got, uh, I was still holding this, held through this. And then we got this one candle, uh, this one candle, and then this second candle. I was like, okay, there's no way, way we're not pushing up. Then we get this third bullish candle, push it all the way up. I'm like, the market likes to do a pullback as soon as it, it um, pushes down with, uh, as soon as it pushes up, it likes to do like a one or two candle pullback, which was these two candles here. And we pushed up in the next candle right there. And then this next candle pushed all the way up, hit our take profit. I closed like a little bit lower than the one or two because I just wanted the one or two. And now we are reversing like hard uh let's reach out uh, a banger trade that now this was an absolutely crazy trade the one minute is, is something different the five minute uh if you took the five minute you would have got break a candle and stops below you would have hit one to one already like you would have hit one to one right there uh this you would have hit one to one right there um and then it came back all the way then you could have maybe gone back in if you wanted to something like that i don't know and hold for a little bit longer, but I just got that one, uh, that one or two on the one minute. And then I do believe there was another trade that um, I was also looking at. Let's break it down. So it, it won on the one, to, it won on the one minute, but on the five minute a loss. So if you go to GU, we were super bullish during London, pushing down in New York, and. Um, so I, I was expecting that we're going to keep dropping, but I was like, okay, this, th there was a break, uh, cat, a break structure on the, on the five minute. So this was a little bit of a risky trade, but if you drop to the one minute, so we inside that five minute, um, that five minutes, uh, demand, if you draw the one minute like this, it, it looks like it, it didn't wick out, but it looked like it was like really close to it, like tapped the bottom of the zone, but it didn't break out. So it is still a valid zone. You could have gone in there, break a candle, had stops like, just like a pip below, something like that, and you could have held for, this trade went for like, like just about a one to three. Maybe maybe like a one to two would have been better. But th this wasn't like the the, better, the best trade. Uh, the one, bro, the one minute is so useful for cutting L's with the OG strat, for real, bro. Like, you can actually, like, I, there were so many chances I could have cut this trade. Like, I know people in the Discord who took this, they closed at, at, at break even, like when the market pushed right here, people closed at break even and then got back in and then won. Um, but I didn't close, I was getting super close to closing from this push here and I was like, okay, there's no way. Um, let's see, GG bro, I finally decided to take off NAS, uh, out of my watch list, now I only trade one pair. Interesting. I only have uh, just delete. I was back testing that. I only have three pairs that I'm looking at like now. Three pairs that have been working for me. Uh, Nash just doesn't like me. Low. <laughs> Nash is like my best pair. Uh, so Doyle changed his trading. Uh, so Doyle changed his trading. Did he stop taking five minute setups? Nah, he didn't. He didn't change his. Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to you. Uh, a rob robber. I think that's your name. Mango. Before you leave, bro. I just hit a one or two with Doyle's new strategy, bro. Check out this trade that we we just hit now. Like I I took this. It was a very stressful trade. We we almost closed, but I'm gonna have a video on this out later today. Mango. We 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 hit a one or two, bro. Uh, like one or twos you don't see pretty often with Doyle's normal strategy, but we just hit the this exact trade is what I took. Actually, wait, my stop loss was a little bit higher because this was exactly like I wanted to, like there. 
I got the exact one or two on this trade. Pretty stressful trade because we almost got stopped out, but we pushed all the way back up for that one or two. Uh, okay, let's get back to the previous guy now. Doyle didn't change his strategy. So all he does now is he scales down his five minute zones to the one minute. If you go look, so we this was just a regular five minute demand that we tapped into and then pushed up. Doyle still would have taken this. like, But if you couldn't scale this five minute zone to the one minute, Doyle would have just probably taken this off the five minute. But since you can scale this down to the one minute, um, he's going to start taking setups like this. So we scaled it down to the one minute. He's going to start taking setups where we're getting a uh, break a candle on the one minute and then holding for a higher RR, like a one to, one to two, one to three. That's what Doyle's going to start doing now. Well, at least what he said in his webinar. If you want to see the webinar, it is in the Discord. So make sure you join up. I'm going to move, let's move. I think news just dropped. Yeah, news just dropped as well. Uh, but Mango, how are you doing, bro? What, uh, have you taken a trade today or anything? Let's let's move back um to 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 MetaTrader quickly. Give me a second. Um, gotta just change this to MetaTrader five and then view. Okay, we're back on MetaTrader. Let's just go to the five minute. Okay. Um, let's just delete that. Okay, there we go now um missed that trade bro it is what it is bro you missed a banger fred missed an absolute banger uh geez good show man love to see it but uh why are you marking up uh both those red uh both those one minute cash shouldn't it be the bottom one if you if you look at it i'm gonna go back if you look at it like this uh we we only take trade um one minute supply um one minute high probability we only trade high probability zones so if you look at it this this first candle here has that wick in front of it making it a low probability so you have to mark it over two zones just like doyle said in his webinar and doyle took this exact trade got got intel from one of my boys in the discord doyle took the same trade as well but you own the only way to make this a high probability demand was to draw it over two candles like that and then hold um but yeah uh now waiting on some trash <laughs> setups hoping news will push down to them trying to step away from the five minute bit makes sense bro if you were if you're catching like wonder wonder sixes on like the 30 minute then rather stick to that uh nas liquidity grab no this is it looks like a valid liquidity grab on the five minute I w i'm not taking liquidity grabs on on the on the one minute it's too messy but that looks valid the stop loss is just a bit big there that's the only issue with this liquidity grab but it could win it could not um i took the same trade but on the five minutes cuts the loss twice uh but it did hit the one to one um if you got the perfect entry but i'm not in his discord uh makes okay uh isn't that just like forcing it to be high probability though nah so if if you uh, you said you watched the webinar but in the webinar he does explain like th that you are gonna get um the bottom candle you, you just gotta look inside like this is a little bit confusing to explain like in the five minute zone if you can scale it down to the one minute no matter how big it is or how small it is it is a valid one minute high probability supply a uh, demand so even though this this candle would have been our normal one to mark up, that one's low probability. So we had to mark up this one over two candles. I wouldn't say it's forcing setups, but it is a little bit more risky. You should rather be wait. Oh, you can't even see. Um, hold up. Let's do this rather. Okay, there you can see now. So you would have drawn it usually over that, um, like that. Let's let's just remove this red line real quick. You would have drawn it like that normally on the one minute. But since it's low probability, you have to draw it over two candles like that. It's not forcing it. It's just, I know I know Doyle used to do this on, on like five minutes. Well, when it's like a small zone, uh, you can draw it over two candles. Uh, um, what are your thoughts on the one minute entries? Fun. Uh, the one minute entries are, are a little bit scary. I won't lie. You got to get used to them. This was my first trade taking it, so we just needed to see what happens. And we, and we ended up winning, so I kind of like it now. It's just a lot stressful. You probably got to set and forget your trade, though. 
that's probably like the gonna be the best thing to to do with the one minute but yeah mango like this is a valid trade if you draw it over two can i wouldn't call it forcing it because we're just marking up the next um high probability demand is that the only change doyle did and why he changed it he changed it if you if you watch the webinar uh in the past two weeks Doyle has been on like a losing streak. He still had profitable weeks at the end of the day, but he was on a losing streak. He was taking more losses than winners. And he went in the webinar. He said he went back to the drawing board and he said uh, he, he back tested everything. He was looking at the one minute and he noticed that there was something in the one minute. So he decided to switch it up. And that's what he's doing now. He, he just said that. Um, and if you look at it, the one minute is throwing way better better setups like if you get a normal five minute demand and, and you can scale it down to the one minute you might as well just take it off the one minute because of how much further the one minute is going to go like the the normal five minute setup that i just took only went for one to one and the one and the one minute went for one to two maybe even a little bit higher so that that's why yeah i'm guessing he changed it uh, now I feel you that's fair good stuff on the win my guy let's see how it goes in the future for sure yeah 100% because the one minute is very is, is very good uh, dangerous but we gotta see how it plays up uh what's up rush forex bro how you doing we caught an absolute bang on NAS caught a one to two on the one minute my first one minute trade and also this this NAS liquidity grab it looks all right if anyone's taking it I don't know how high it's gonna go though. We grabbed the liquidity there. You could have gotten a break a candle there. Looks okay. Um, I just gotta close that, and we gotta pull G U uh, G J back up. Uh, G J. Uh, me and Rush waiting on C H F J P Y. Let's let's actually check the setup that you guys are looking at. Um. Is it a 30 minute supply demand, uh, Mango? 30 minute? I believe that's what you trade. Is it this setup right here? Is this what you're waiting on? Or is it like something else? Uh, CJ may be going to tap uh, supply to get us to our one minute demand. I guess I'll take it. You know what? I don't know uh oh the, uh yeah the five men could bring us to there is there a five minute i don't see any five minutes i see we had a nice breaker structure here it looks like a valid setup but i don't trade the 30 minutes so i don't know how the 30 minute plays out you feel me uh that's it but it looks different on my broker okay it's probably just meta traders broker on, on trading view okay well we just let's just move this back on trading view, it probably looks a little bit different. Um, I was in his Discord uh, uh, in October, but decided to leave because I was feeling like I'm cheating when he sends his setups. So I, uh, so I left uh, to depend on myself. That's exactly what I did, uh, Robert. I was also I was in his Discord the same time as you. I was in his Discord from, I believe it was July until um i was in his discord from july until december and then i left and then i've just been trading by myself now and it's actually going pretty good uh what pay uh, what pay is that this this is c i don't even know what it stands for c oh there swiss franc japanese yang yeah this this is what um mango is waiting for he's waiting for a 30 minute demand like that if you if you want to feel free to take it but I don't trade the 30 minute. Uh, waiting on GJ liquidity grab. Let's check that out. Makes sense if we close above. But there's a few gaps. There's like a big gap here that needs to be filled. Untapped demand. I don't know. Could could end up holding. Um, hi everyone, bro. How are you? Sweet poison. How are you doing, bro? Uh, uh for real it's a weird ass pair but it works nah yeah i've never i've never seen anyone trade uh swiss franc japanese yang yeah i've never seen this moves a little bit weird online just looking at it 
consolidating here on the five minute, but hey, you never know what could happen. Nice liquidity grab. I wouldn't say that it looks like it's working because there's a little bit of rejections, but we are at, at break even on it. I know you're not a fan on, uh, I, I can't read for shit, I swear. I need my glasses. Uh, I know you're not a AU fan, but it's in a one hour demand. Let's pull out AU. I dropped AU long ago just because of how it was treating me. Uh, you said a one hour demand. That's a valid one hour demand. I won't even lie to you. JC, bro, that's a good ass one hour demand. But we are also, we've been pushing up for a while, but I guess we are on the one hour. Actually, we're not even. There's a lot of gaps to fill. It looks like there's a supply there, maybe, that needs to be filled. It looks pretty valid if you, trade, if you take it off the one hour. I don't know how you take like a five minute entry, but it looks valid. Yeah, Nash just looks like it's gonna melt down. There's a lot of gaps for Nash to fall on the downside, and we were bullish the whole of London. Uh, yeah, that's clean for normal supply and demand for real. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, J Cruz, I know, I know, I know, I know you like AU, but AU never treats me well. I swear there was someone else in the in the chat called J Cruz already. Oh, nah, never mind. I'm tripping. <clears throat> GJ looks like it's melting now. <laughs> Is there news? I'm pretty sure there's more news, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's news at 9.45. Uh, 50 minutes after stock exchange open. Uh, I ain't checked NAS in a minute. It's uh, still just shooting up. Bro, NAS has been so bullish. Like, this is just on the five minute. NAS has just been like, look at this absolute push up that NAS does. Like, NAS is, is, is quite high. I won't lie to you. There's the highest point NAS has been on. It's been dropping a lot since then. But it looks like it's going to come full of these gaps up here, maybe. I was also a little bit skeptical in, in taking this demand because of how high we are, uh, how, how high we are. Like, look at, look, we were bullish the whole of London. So I was sketched, a little bit sketched out in taking, taking this demand. But I guess off the one minute, it doesn't really matter because uh, it happened so quick. The one minute just be going up and down. I just want to see, I think, yeah, I think, okay. I see what Doyle did. Okay, so so I think Doyle took the the trade, the Nash trade off of the five minutes, but I think he got an aggressive, and he was aiming for the one to two up here, and then he closed that break even. Yeah, I was aiming for one to two, and it uh, was close to reaching, uh, but news got in the way. Let's see if something else comes. So yeah, Doyle's looking for another trade. He do doesn't look like he got in on the one minute. Wait, what, what pair was uh, your trade on today? It was on NAS. It, it, it literally the setup. Oh, you can't see the pair. It's covered by my face cam. Yeah, it was on NAS. I was a little bit skeptical about it, though, because of how high we were. But a valid trade. Uh, I'm gonna assume I don't know how he got in, but it looks like he got an aggressive and he had stops below uh, the uh, below the zone or at the zone, and he was aiming for a one to two, which is up here, right where my cursor is one to two, and he he almost got that one to two, but then news uh, made the market come down. It reversed on him, Mango. He broke even. Yeah.
I swear there's literally nothing else happening. Let me take off this damn tie. <sighs> Andre is officially better than Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're close to Doyle. Doyle. Doyle will be making thousands. Um, GJ Demand, if it breaks candle. I don't like it because we're breaking how many lows? We're breaking one low here and then we're breaking another low here. But oh wait, we're breaking another low here. But if it's better to you, Fred, you know I don't like setups like this. I hate setups where we break multiple lows to, to get to the demand or the supply. But that, that that's what that's what he's looking at. The re the reaction from it is valid. One hour. They, just be careful, uh, Fred. There's a one hour demand that it could one uh, could um, potentially tap into before um, moving. There's fifteen minute confluence on this trade as well. Yes, it looks all right then. Let's check the one minute. There's a one minute trade, I think. I don't know. Checking the one minute on this is trash. On on Meta Trader. I think I'm gonna stay live for like another 12 minutes maybe because I'm already done for the day there's no point in me me sitting here and and just waiting for a setup even though I'm not gonna take anything else I got my one to two I'm chilling <laughs> yeah so I think I'm just gonna stay here for like another 10 minutes or so and then call it a day and I'm gonna have that live trading video out later today This liquid grab actually still looks all right. It's just playing at the entry. Reaction's actually looking pretty good off of uh, GJ. About to give break a candle. Yeah, I think. Yeah, just get break a candle on trading view if anyone's getting into this. But honestly, I don't know about it. Reaction looks pretty good. We got, yeah, we're getting a little bit of momentum. Maybe, maybe this was actually a pretty good setup. But I don't like setups that, that work out like this, where we break multiple lows. Um, please come every day. Um, I'm gonna, uh, th these are the days that, uh, I, I trade. Um, so I trade Mondays, Tuesdays. I don't trade Wednesdays, so I'm not going to stream on Wednesdays. And then I trade on Thursdays and Fridays. So those are the days I'll stream. Maybe not every single, um, 
like every single one of those days because I do like looking for my own setups and 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 streaming. There's just a lot that 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 goes on that I need to watch out for. Like I need to read chats and and sometimes it just becomes a bit much. So I won't stream like every single time, but but for like the next two weeks, I'm gonna see how it goes and I might stream just like every single day except Wednesdays. Um. This GJ technically is a liquidity grab supply and demand. I don't like it though because it's because uh, the liquidity is very clo- uh, barely close enough. Yeah, I know that, but I don't like. I I know that's the liquidity supply and demand. Just the only thing I don't like, well, in my opinion, is that we're breaking two lows. I understand that it is a liquidity one, but just in 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 my in my opinion and what I've seen from my own experience. Literally, no one else's experience, my own experience, I've seen that these setups lose the most, in my opinion. If you want, guys want to trade them and take them and, and you guys get some crazy RRs, then trade them. But I, I don't like this. Uh, are you in this? No, I'm not in this. No, no, no. I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm just watching this because a few people, I think I think a few people in the Discord are taking it. I think Fred's about it. I think Fred's in it. Uh, I'd give it a 50-50 on winning. You know what? Uh, I don't know. The the reaction from it though is really good, like we 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 just tapped into it and we we're reversing like we we did close in it a bit but we, as soon as we close in it we we're pushing up. And this this candle right here has just been bullish. Let us see where see where one one is. So I need to pull up on trading view. Alright, so one to one. Looks like it's right there. If you got the perfect entry, that is the wonder one. This line right here is the wonder one. Let's see how nice NAS, NAS liquidity grab still looks like it's moving. It actually looks good, but I think you're probably gonna have to hold this through New York Stock Exchange open, even though it is still like 30, 35 minutes away. Doesn't look like it's moving too much, and that and that take profit is is twenty four pips away. So the take profit is like almost like right there. Yeah, th- this is what I'm saying about GJ. Like, when we break lows like this, when we break one two lows, like we get to break a candle, and now it's just gonna be a fake out. Like in my own experience, I've I've seen it. The, the, these setups lose every single time. Like maybe sometimes they'll win and go for a crazy win. But most of the time, these don't end up winning. That, that's just my opinion, my experience. Like, I have a perfect... Actually, actually, if you guys are interested, I have a perfect trade like this that I took. If you go onto my channel, and you go to... um, Let's see. If you go to uh, view channel... Let me see. If you go to the, the series that I did, I tried to do a, a $10 to, to $100, but I failed miserably. If you go to part one, part one is, is literally a liquidity grab setup like this, where we break multiple lows to get to the demand, and then the demand instantly fakes out. Part one of, I, I think I'm gonna try put it up. Let's see if we can do this, if it's gonna work. Properties. Wow, like why isn't it working? Okay, wait, this, this is working. Wait. Pull up. Okay, it's a little bit messy. Okay, there. I think you can see it now. There, there this video right here. It's gonna look a little bit weird. This video right here. Eight, I posted eight months ago. Live trading. Uh, seven dollars and seventy six cents to one hundred. Part one. This is the exact trade where we break multiple lows. Like even if you you can kind of see in the in the thumbnail. Like we're breaking a low right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right properly or anything. Usually you go like look at it, watch the video. We break one low there that I can see another low, another low, and there's another low here to get to that demand, and the demand ends up losing. I lost my first trade on that count. That's why I don't like setups like this. Let's just put that away. That's why I don't like setups where we break multiple lows. And in actual fact, GJ lost. GJ lost. That's why I don't like taking setups where we break multiple lows because we are switching trend. If you look at it, if you look at it like a market structure way, boom, we, we get a big push down. Boom, we failed to break this high. The market didn't come and break this high. Boom, we pushed down. Push another break, uh, we pushed down again and we broke this low here. 
so we broke uh, we broke one low already then we we got a little bit of a push up we're breaking this high game but it failed to come break this high up here so we got that then next uh next push we come and we break this low and this low here wait no we didn't we didn't break this low here with, with this push but we broke it with this big push here and if you look at it look at the momentum that's pushing down let's just delete these lines Let's just delete these lines real quick. Look at the momentum from uh, from this push down. There's literally not a single green candle getting to this demand here. And if you get in a break a candle, in my opinion, this is just like an instant loss. That's why I hate taking setups like this and I don't think I ever will. Uh, let me read chat real quick. Yeah, I don't like uh, the setup, but it could win because of how bullish uh, GJ is. GJ was bullish during London and New York likes to do opposite of what London did. Uh, let's see, liquidity has to be max nine pips away and the setup uh, is one candle liquidity uh, and it's 8.8 .8 pips away. So it's a horror a setup, but you know what? Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Let's see, liquidity. Okay. It's actually kind of like 10 pips away, but or, or you're looking at it there. I don't know. Depends where you're looking at it, but that's liquidity under there, and there's liquidity under there. But that's why I don't like setups like that. Uh, the 15 minute chart wasn't for buyers, not that liquidity S and D doesn't work. I didn't say it doesn't work. I just don't like um liquidity uh, where we break li where we break liquidity, which is seen as lows. I, I don't like setups like that. It could still potentially one off the five minute a uh, 15 minute. We haven't got the breaker candle yet on the 15 minute, but it could win. I just don't like setups. The one minute, I mean, the five minute looks like we actually just pro, we, we're giving a fake out. Uh, not a fake out, but it hit the stop loss and then pushing back up. Could actually still win if you, if you down for the re-entry, but not me. Uh, yeah. I boys, I think I'ma head out now. Appreciate everyone stopping by. There's no, I don't want to sit here and wait and just look at losing ass setups. Nas could win, but yeah, I'm not. I'm done. I took my one to two on the Nas setup, which I'm gonna have in a few minutes. I am actually in a few hours. I'm gonna have it out. The first setup I took with Dale, Doyle's new new strategy or new approach, and I'm gonna post that guy uh, out in a couple hours. Hope you guys watch that and enjoy your trading day. I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow. That's when I'm going to be live again. But I'm out. Oh, uh, wait. Before I go, classic behavior. GJ, uh, 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 classic GJ behavior. Stop shouting goes for one or two. <laughs> for real. But this setup isn't valid or isn't good for me. But I'm done. Uh, you familiar with uh, round levels? Nah, bro. No idea what a round level is. But I'm going to end the stream now. I hope you boys enjoyed and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna be live streaming again.